Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Koozie back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Hope all y'all having a good weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get right to it. This old world definitely must be ending because we have a whole bunch of celebrities and tech giants that have invested in cryonic. So instead of underground bunkers, they are deciding to freeze themselves in order to revive themselves in the, you know, near future or distant future. Do you think that tra time travel is possible? You may say no, but what if we told you that there are scientists who are planning to make it happen. They want to transport people to a distant future and thousands of participants are willing but they will not zoom through black holes. They will not travel in spaceships or fancy cars. They will be frozen. The concept is called cryonics, where a person's body is frozen in the hope that a future civilization will reanimate it. That is the eventual aim, that one day the frozen body will be rewarmed and revived kind of like a less gross version of mummification with the expectation that the mummy will come back to life. Now in day-to-day -day medicine, freezing is already a useful technique, albeit on a smaller scale, doctors freeze blood cells, bone marrow, sperm and embryos. But freezing a human body, that's another ball game. Cryonics can begin only after a person is clinically and legally dead. You cannot start freezing before that. You have to die. After death, the procedure needs to happen quickly. First, dry ice is used to keep the body at a lower temperature so the body can, can, move to, uh, can be moved to a storage facility. And once that happens, the body is put in a chamber. It is infused with chemicals. The temperature is slowly lowered further below minus 130 degrees Celsius. This cold allows the cells to survive and the body is preserved. Pretty much like people in a long-term coma, except there's no, no metabolism. Uh, so to them, you know, no time is passing. So people say, well, if they're not alive, they must be dead. Well, no, there's kind of an in-between state, which is not really alive or dead. Uh, you know, by, by kind of a crude analogy, you have daytime and you have nighttime, uh, but you also have twilight in between because they kind of shade into one another. So in our view, uh, dying is a process and cryonics stops that process it puts dying on a pause and lets you go into the future where we have greater capabilities to reverse that and bring you back to life people like jeff bezos sam altman and larry page all have invested in cryonics and they look forward to getting their body frozen i'm sure you guys know about walt disney but these people are talking about freezing their whole body what do you guys think about this please let us know down in the comments below like follow and share for more videos like this let's get this shift y'all peace in Man, the crazy thing about all that, man, is you have to die. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. You still have to die. And they say you have to be dead shortly for a while. But you know what I'm saying? They got a certain time, amount of time that they can get you back. Man, it's not even a for sure thing that they can bring you back. That's the whole thing I'm getting out of it, man. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. It's outrageous. If you live in Texas, you better pay close attention to this entire message. Y'all better tap in. The West Nile virus is in Texas and they're spraying neighborhoods near Dallas right now to try to, you know, kind of scale it down a little bit. But they have found five mosquitoes that, that tested positive for the West Nile virus. Check this out. Dallas County Health and Human Services has confirmed five mosquito samples testing positive for the West Nile virus, WNV, in Carrollton. The WNV containing samples were collected from the mosquito management areas that are located between Old Denton Road, Trinity Mills Road, Josie Lane, Keller Springs Road, Broadway Street, Alt Line Road. So that's Road, just a quick heads up for Parkway. anybody in Texas. Uh, make sure you guys are protecting yourself and being very aware of any standing, you know, puddles or, or bodies of water near your home because the West Nile virus is now running through Texas. I'm out. But yet they want to release all those mosquitoes, man, all those GMO mosquitoes. And another thing, man, who's to say that that's really to kill the mosquitoes, man? Who's to say it's not something else, some other kind of forever chemicals, man, that they gonna spray on us that could probably be very harmful or make a lot of people sick very quick if you, if you, if you could catch my drift. Let's go. I'm watching uh, Demolition Man and 
they said something, Sandra Bullock said something that kind of raised my eyebrow. Now, mind you, this video is from 1996, I believe. And in this video, they're portraying to be in the quote unquote future, like hey, 2032 or something like that, something, something or another, but they're in the future. But listen to this. This is in 96 when they made this movie. Check this out. I've been in a business of the escapades for quite some time now. I have, in fact, perused some newsreels from the Schwarzenegger Library. And that time that you took that car. Hold it. But check this out. Schwarzenegger Library? Yes, the Schwarzenegger Presidential Library. Wasn't he an actor when Stop. you... Stop. He was president? <laughs> yes. Even though he was not born in this country, his popularity at the time caused the 61st Amendment, which states that... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's crazy. Like, although he wasn't president... He was still the governor in Los Angeles. And what's crazy is in this movie, they're in what used to be Los Angeles. How would they possibly know this in 1996? This goes to show that the world is just some big stage. We're all actors in it, man. Boy, that's a good movie. That's a that's a classic. Uh, it's also starring Wesley Snipes. Man, that's three head, three, three heavy hitters. Man, Sylvester Stallone, old Rambo, uh, Sandra Bullock, and her uh, and uh, uh, I mean Wesley Snipes. Man, that's a classic right there. But uh, yeah, y'all y'all go check it out. But it's not a coincidence, man. Y'all know how uh, uh, Stallone and you know Schwarzenegger they got their uh, actor robbery action actor actor robbery. You know what I'm saying? If y'all catch my drift, that's why he was like that. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. They've been pinned in front of our faces for a long time. Going someplace and you don't, you out late at night and you 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 afraid, but you had to be by yourself. You always, if you're any kind of dangerous situation that you're going, you're always supposed to wear purple. You see, because if you wear purple, that purple will ward that off from you. So you want to do those particular things. <clears throat> now. Mm. Have you guys seen this? I guess it woke up and started producing babies. You can't freeze them to death. You can only boil them. You have to cook all of your food at least 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Have any of you guys been feeling drained lately? Like y'all don't want to do nothing. Y'all don't want to work. Like you guys are unmotivated. Like what is going on? No, man, that ain't just white people feeling it, man. I've been feeling that lately too. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. But could that be the effects of the alleged fake or false son? Let me know down below in the comment section. I want to know what y'all think. Oh, there is a great white again. shark in the water. It's, get, it's moving. Oh. It's getting closer. Wait. Though. Wait, that guy. Do you think he knows? No. Oh the swimmer is Wait, in you grave think danger. Think I don't think There's something in the There's water. There's something in the water. There's something in the water. Run. Oh, my God. I mean, no. swim. No, swim. No. Onlookers are trying to warn the swimmer. There's, there's something in the no. water. How do we let him know that something's there? Oh my God. The shark oh. is preparing oh to attack. He has no idea oh what danger he's, he's in. He's go. There's a guy out there. Should we get him to help? The guy next to you? Yeah. Oh my God. Should we get him? Let's, let's try and call him. Wait. Wait. Help him. Help, help him. him. He's stuck. There's a no, shark. No, no, no. The man notices the shark and desperately shark. tries to escape. There's a shark oh, yeah. in the way. Yes. Follow for part two. Oh. Is he gonna? Man, maybe it wasn't a shark. Maybe it was a dolphin. No, I'm just playing. Why wouldn't somebody just drive the boat right between him and the shark? That would make perfect sense, right? The Sea King, through the Earth's core, finally to emerge in a vast subterranean air pocket. Fantastic. An underground civilization of reptile people. Take him quickly, the steel net. <laughs> Nothing shall stop us from overthrowing it. Reptilians and Dracos. And there's also parts in the album where you speak to Lucy. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer. yeah. Lucifer. Yeah. He's the devil. So you, 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 you. It's trippy. You see both sides it's of. It, yeah, man. It's, 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 when, I, when I go inside, I may do an after party. <laughs> I see it all around, man. I may, I may do an after party, and this is how I'll be able to write these records, because. Right. It's not just the positive energy that speaks 
feel me? It's the negative too. It's the evils too. And we all have temptations. Right. You know, me, I'm just fortunate enough to, to translate them temptations through record. Right. You know, I always said that this is this is truly a gift for me. Putting these records out is a gift for me because I'm not only a voice for myself, but I'm a voice for people who can't express themselves like that. Right. And Lucy is one of my favorite records because it's me actually coming to realization of the evils rather than acting like it's not going around. My thoughts are not happening. My thoughts are happening right in front of my face. It's our boy Kendrick. What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Y'all, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas, another beautiful day. Check it out, check it out. Boom. I want to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No, I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, Damn. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. Oh, shit. Man, is y'all catching? I'm just gonna let it go, man. I hope y'all caught that, though. You know I gotta stop it. I got to, man. Y'all asking me, y'all begging me to stop it. I have to. Okay. 2019, what happened in 2019 going into 2020? Because they said this really happened. Came out, you know, the first outburst was in 2019. Okay. Oh no, 2020. January 2020. Y'all know what happened. You see what he said? Mm, nothing's as it seems and at the end you remember man in black okay he said man i haven't looked this good it's 2019 i haven't looked this good since like the 90s it's 2019 he said, look how young you look. could he be way older than what we think come on man they tell you what they doing obviously it's called deep fake technology man cgi technology man like he's telling you don't believe everything that you see on tv and on social media he, he's telling you Perception is everything. If you don't know, look up the word perception. <laughs> Come on now, let's get it. That's what this whole video is about. Ice cream, you perception. scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Well, ice cream, you scream, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Ice cream, you scream, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, we all, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, we all know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. Mike Meyer says, yeah, baby. 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 Mike Meyer
go see the captions. You got to be able to see through smoke screens. Like I said, you got to be able to see through the smoke screen. The real question for me is, can I play without cheating this game? The day I can't give the game everything on the floor is the day I'll be done. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. Uh, you see China, they, they built them. The dopest hotels, they got one that's built 68 stories underground. And they got underground bedrooms, and you, you see the water and all the shit, underwater restaurants. You know, they doing shit. They build bridges across mountains that everybody in the rest of the world said couldn't be done in, in, in 10 years. They did it in three. So it can be done, but America used to be the can-do country, but now we just can't do shit. You know, we can't even decide if we're a man or a woman. We, we can't decide shit. We can't build a motherfucking thing. I mean, what the fuck? Now you can't go to the beach because we, we, we got a fucked up infrastructure. That's what it is. Sewage plants can't, can't handle the shit. So you're just going to dump it in the ocean. That's what the fuck it is. And I'm still trying to figure out why every factory in this goddamn country is next to a river. And, and so they can conveniently dump the waste into the river that you used to be able to swim in and drink out of. That's how fresh it used to be. But now... You, you, you gonna kill yourself because they trying to charge us for water and that's why water's on sale now. Water costs more than gasoline, y'all. It was all a plan. Pollute the motherfucking water, then we gonna charge it for the shit. If they want some clean water, they gotta buy it now. Can't, can't drink it out the faucet at your crib now, can you? It's all a plot. You gonna be buying air in a minute, trust me. This is why they put polluting the air, nigga. You gonna have to get a bottle of fresh air from the Rocky Mountains. And you can like just... Can't have nothing my head, nigga. This shit's expensive. Be ready for it. We all being fucked. Reptilicans, Democrats, who gives a fuck? It's heads or tails are still a goddamn quarter. Two sides to the middle. Should be at least 17 parties. Did anybody know that Cornell West was running for president? No, because your mainstream media ain't telling you that shit. You ain't lying, that boy don't miss. In the future, get you some, um, to, to also, this is what you need to do to clean out the house, too. Is to get you either some Duke Ellington, some Ella Fitzgerald, somebody who's passed on. Anytime you get an entity that's passed on, and especially, so a lot of time we get the newer people that we associate with, but it, so you got to realize you have people that, that made this new vogue of music in the 20th century, that, and from that new vogue of music came the, the modern jazz, funk, and all that, but so... Anybody that pass on becomes an avatar. So therefore, people like um um because jazz came out of ragtime. So if you get like your boy, like, what's your boy that did um the sting um that they uh Scott Joplin. But then again, on the other hand, the stuff that Duke Ellington and them created was a new vogue from that. So this this is classical shit. So if you get you some Duke, you can't go wrong. Or some Ella Fitzgerald. Anybody can break down glass when they're in the physical body. <laughs> What you think about a spirit when she leaves the physical body and not contained in the physical shell? That means it's a much more powerful force. And every time I play the Duke or the Ella, the whole energy in the house changes. And all negative shit that's up in there get the hell on because this mom, this damn woman is hollering. And there's a and there's a good one for thirty one dollars. I figure it's pretty cheap. You get like sixty something songs. There's like three CDs. Ella Fitzgerald's seventy fifth anniversary it came out in nineteen ninety three, and it's like sixty something songs on three CDs or you can get in any kind of box sets and stuff like that but get you some of that type of stuff you know your Count Basie which was dealing with a jump jazz from the, the, the Egyptian goddess Hecates or the, uh, the Egyptian or the uh, Kemetic god Hecate which is dealing with what is called a jump jazz which in actuality is some, some Bodun energy this is some real deal shit uh, uh, so get you some um, um, some um, you know some some what you call the classical jazz brothers. And you can clean out the energy. You know, um, don't get no fucking Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. 
See, Louis Armstrong, they saying is one of the greatest trumpet players of all time. But he had such a slave mentality that he neglected his talent just to sing a song for the cracker and grin. So that's a fucked up energy. Every time I go, I say, man, my spirit said, don't get that motherfucker out of there. Because he was such an Uncle Tom, so he even, doggone, transcended his own talent. And they say he's one of the greatest trumpet players of all times. Huh? Any, anybody that pass on. You know, Mile, Coltrane. There's a good one, Duke Ellington and Coltrane. It's a good one. You see, so this is stuff you really put a certain amount of energy, um, 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 dealing with a certain amount of energy in your space. Very key. Boy, he putting us on game, man. Pass it! See what I'm saying? That will take, save you from a heart attack. Just take you to sign some things. A lot of stuff ain't got nothing to do with hell. A lot of stuff got something to do with energies. If you're about to have a heart attack, and I'm going to get uh, uh, some guy said, now you need some, 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 some kayak puppets and so I said, no, wait a minute. I'm not talking about prevention. It's too late now, goddammit. You can prevent shit. With your cayenne pepper and all of your doggone ginger. I'm talking about you got five minutes to live. You better get you a can of Pepsi Cola. Save you from a heart attack. Chips on power, pour it on a, a car battery and see don't that shit. Yeah. Clean that car battery off. Man, he ain't lying. I don't know. I ain't gonna say he ain't lying. I, I don't know about the Pepsi Cola part, but I'm talking about the battery cable part. But uh man if that's true that's amazing he'll he a lifesaver we might we're gonna save some lives with that one y'all will keep some pepsi hand, uh, handy in your house spiritual consequences of wearing wigs so you telling me that they are sending hair from india to black women over here and we all know that there's all types of hair yeah, yeah. Shaving the woman's head. Okay. They, they shave their hair off to get rid of their bad karma and all that stuff. So they shaving and their they hair off to get rid of their karma, and they're sending their hair over here to us, and they're they marketing it. Really they're pretty. marketing it. Yeah, right. They market it to black women on purpose because they want us to take their karma. And if not, it's like an energy transference. That's what it seems like because we're covering. What did it's you say? Cheaper because they use tubes and fucking. They, they pull out of drains. Shit that's in drains. Okay? Yeah, just regular. Now, nah, tell them about what you said about why black women be losing their hair sometimes wearing wigs. Because you're putting their karma, their karma that they shed off of them like a snake skin. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a ritual they do. The, the, the guy says like a bunch of stuff while he's cutting her hair off slowly. It's not bad, it's slowly. And then they get rid of it. And then they make wigs out of it. So. You're putting all her energy, her bad karma that she's getting rid of on top of your crown. Your beautiful natural African hair. Do y'all hear that? With the beautiful coils, like my wife's. Beautiful coils. I love it more. I hate when she wears wigs. I'm not wearing them anymore. Don't wear no one else's hair. It's not it. yours. It didn't grow out of your body. That's not your energy. That's you're someone else's karma. To, you're taking your karma away, and they're getting like a free pass, like my family did when they used my energy. They, they, they got to ride off my destiny. Yes, destiny swapping. They perspired, and then I went homeless and shit. Like, like I don't know yeah. about like, But no, y'all need to catch this. He, that's my husband. Other people's items are energy, too. Okay. <laughs> Other people's. You teaching me, y'all? You are energy. Like someone that means bad with you will give you a gift out of nowhere. Like all smiling shit. Mm -hmm. The whole fucking you start arguing with your man as soon as you come in. Witchcraft house, on it, y'all. They be putting witchcraft on them yeah. gifts and shit. I stayed with my sister for a year. All my motherfucking hair fell out my head. My beard and my mustache fell out. My eyebrows almost started failing out. Then I moved out of that shit, and then all slowly started coming back. You see? Magically. Cause they was doing curses. Magically. Y'all need to be mindful of what people give y'all. No, he's not being sarcastic. He's being no, real. I'm being sarcastic. I said magically. Yeah, magically. It didn't magically come back. I left that energy. We're going to do a part two on this, but y'all, stop wearing wigs. You are literally taking on other people's energy. And if you, y'all can say, oh, I'm going to cleanse it. I'm going to do that. 
that's still someone's DNA. That is someone's hair that you are wearing. And DNA this is why memories. I'm not wearing no more DNA hair. I'm not wearing no more wig. Karma, yes. ancestral curses, like family curses and memories you're putting that on top of your head. That's your crown. That's your connection Wear to God. Your natural, Wear lady. your natural hair, ladies. All of you. Every race. The sky like a fucking tree. Yes. We're going to have to do a part two, baby. <laughs> y'all, take heed to this message, y'all. Tell you women, y'all better stop buying and using that stuff. Some of y'all just want to believe it. If you can't grow it, sow it. But it ain't the way, man. You just need to grow it the right way. Naturally grown. If you can't, you probably just don't need it. Cut it off. Save it. They're trying to make this dentist look psycho for telling people how they can prevent their cavities and strengthen their enamel with all the crap these big corporations in America are trying to sell you. Hear what she has to say. See, this outer hard layer, the enamel of our teeth, is really made up of lots of little crystals. And if we can put minerals back into our teeth, they will recrystallize and regrow this enamel layer that is our protection. It's the covering over the outside of teeth. If you have sensitive teeth, this is what you need to do. She goes on to talk about calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. Calcium carbonate is actually a natural mineral that's found in rocks. It helps strengthen your enamel and also neutralize the acids in your mouth to protect from cavities. Sodium bicarbonate helps bite your bad breath and remove any stains that you have on your teeth. It's talking about this because so many of our department store toothpaste have harsh chemicals in them. Guys, if you have any of these in your toothpaste, you need to throw it out ASAP. It's so strange that none of our toothpaste have calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. So that to me says that they don't want us to have it, which makes sense because the dental industry is literally going to hit $254 billion by 2032. They want you to keep going back to the dentist. They want you to have cavities. They want you to spend your money when you can be using a more natural toothpaste that has sodium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonate. So you're actually fighting your cavities and you have your teeth looking amazing. When I saw it was in my toothpaste, I stopped using that two months ago. I threw them all away. I have not looked back since because I only want to use something that's natural and good for my teeth. The ones I use are really interesting. They're actually toothpaste tablets. So you put them in your mouth and you just crush them up and they turn into like this purple foam that you brush your teeth with. You only need one. They come in a pack of 30. They're $15, which literally cost you like a bowl of Chipotle. They have sodium bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate. My teeth have been so healthy the last two months. I mean, look at this shine. Like, look at this color. I will live and die by these snow toothpaste tablets. That's how strongly I feel about them. I just take them on the go. I use them every day. It's so much better than anything that I've seen at, you know, Target, Walmart, whatever. So if you guys are serious about strengthening your enamel and really getting those stains off your teeth so they can be the healthiest they've ever been, I'm gonna link these for you guys down below. They do sell out hella fast. So if you see them there, that means they're still in stock. Now I wonder if that's for if her teeth really that white from using that or using just regular toothpaste because her teeth are pretty white and pretty they real pretty you know but maybe she went to the dentist and get them clean and all that stuff you know i don't know but, uh, let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section because we definitely know it's a lot of stuff in the toothpaste and stuff that we use that it's not good for us for example the f word in the peanut for the you know that calcifies the peanut gland i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know that so far this morning about what is being called the Teflon flu. There's a rise in people that are getting sick in connection with the use of nonstick pants. Poison control centers are reporting an uptick in illness. Last year alone, they had more than 250 cases. It's the highest numbers since the year 2000. Experts say at high temperatures, the Teflon pans are releasing chemicals known as forever chemicals, and that's what seems to be causing illness. Hey man, a lot of people need to see that man, because a lot of people are using air fryers and all that metal against that type of material scraping and scratching and all that stuff, man. It's not good for you. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section though. Hey, oh yeah, one thing for sure, y'all. I hope y'all liking the video so far. If you are, hit the like button. You're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you be notified whenever I drop some new hot content in the future. And don't forget to not hit the notify for all. So you be notified whenever I drop anything. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I said anything. And one more thing, y'all. That's the end of the video, man. Yeah, I know you probably hate to hear that, but it is. And I hope you liking the content. Go check out some more of my content. It's your boy Kuz. I'm out, y'all. Take it easy. Holla.